Okay, Oliver, I see you're with the bee shop. So what's the buzz on honey? You seem to be the honey expert. Well, there's different types of honey. The purest honey you can get is in the beeswax comb, straight from the hive. People eat this comb, they either spit out the wax or they swallow the wax with the comb honey. The next purest honey you're going to get, the second purest, is raw honey. This honey hasn't been filtered and it hasn't been heated up. So you still have bits of bee pollen, propolis, if you're lucky, a little bit of royal jelly and some wax in that honey. So people like it because it's the purest. And what you do, you take this comb honey, you slice off the top of the cap wax, you put it in a centrifuge, an extractor. As that honey comes out, it's, it's simply put through a simple uh, sieve to take out the bee bits of legs and things like that, and there you have your raw honey. The next purest honey are the filtered honeys. Here you have honey that has been filtered, the wax has been filtered out. And then all the honeys here are unpasteurized. The reason you prefer unpasteurized honey is when you heat honey up over 40 Celsius, it starts to lose some of the healing enzymes. So generally, if honey crystallizes naturally over time, and one of the reasons honey is pasteurized is also to rid it of all things, but it's to keep maintain a long liquid shelf life. That's the commercial reason why it's boiled up. So what you have then is you have your your honeys here crystallize naturally over time. So what you want to do is just take your, your honey, put it on top of the radiator in the winter in your home, and it'll gently heat the heat will gently heat it up. It'll turn liquid again. Or you can put it in a pot of water, put it on your stove element on minimum or two, and that will gently heat it up again, keeping it below 40 Celsius, and turn it liquid again with no loss of good elements in it and good enzymes. So with the cold season and everything else, is honey a good uh, remedy? Honey is excellent for colds. What's even better is propolis. Propolis comes from the beehive. The bees collect it from the resin of the tree buds. When a bud comes out of a tr uh, the tree, it's protected with resin and that protects it from infection. So the bees collect these resins and they use it inside the beehive to keep it free from disease and infection. So these resins are collected by the beekeeper, they're made into a tincture, and that's called propolis. It's excellent for the immune system. It's a natural antibiotic, antiviral, antifungal, anti-infectional. Okay. What is this over here? Uh, sorry, which one? Yeah. This, this is royal jelly. It's another product of the beehive. It's what the queen bee is exclusively fed on. That's why she lives up to seven years. Worker bees get royal jelly for only three days of their life. That's when they're larvae. And they undergo a tremendous growth spurt when they're fed this royal jelly for those three days. But they only live six to eight weeks because they don't get royal jelly anymore after that. So they attribute this long lifespan to the queen directly to the, the food of royal jelly that she eats. That's the difference between a worker bee and a queen bee is just the food, the royal jelly. So what about the soap? The soap here, this is a bee pollen soap and what it uses is the pollen from that the bees collect from the beehive. There's two types of pollen. There's a sticky pollen, the one that the bees collect. This is the sticky pollen. They call it that because the bees mix it with a bit of honey when they collect the pollen. And then there's an airborne pollen that people have, often have allergies to. Now, it sounds funny, I'm eating pollen and it's good for my allergies. People have heard this and wonder how, how can this be possible. How it works is that there's a little bit of airborne pollen attached to the sticky pollen. So when you eat the sticky pollen, you get a homeopathic dose of the airborne pollen and that's like a vaccine you, you develop towards the uh, airborne pollen that you have allergies to. How can we get in touch with you? Uh, you can get in touch with me. I'm a beekeeper from Toronto. We do urban beekeeping and it's at www.thebeeshop.net.